Good evening, you two. Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. And yes, I have my lighting and I have my fan. How you doing? I hope and pray that you and yours in YouTube land are happy and healthy and safe and well. Right now, the time is approximately 8.36 p.m. Eastern Time, and the date is Sunday, July 17th, 2022. The moon is waning in Pisces, and the sun is transiting in Cancer. Um, I wanted to just do a brief catch-up on the last three months. Uh, there's been a lot going on the last three months. So we're currently in July, so this will include uh, June and May. So May was an especially challenging month for me, um, primarily because I needed to take care of several personal issues at the same time. Um, I am forever thankful to the great goddess for giving me strength for helping me keep the faith. Um, those issues have been fully dissolved. And um, I do not mind telling you <coughs> that um, everything that I needed to take care of and dealt with in May have reminded me that I can no longer go more than a month without engaging in sacred solitude for a minimum of three days. In fact, my next sacred solitude period begins this Tuesday, July 19th, and concludes on Thursday, July 21st, 2022. Um, and, and I am forever thankful to the great goddess that my life is structured such that I can engage in sacred solitude the way that I do. Which, by the way, um, how I engage in sacred solitude is I have no contact with the outside world. My cell phone remains off. My computers remain off. Uh, I do not leave my apartment for any reason, although given that COVID-19 is still rampant and still a thing, a real thing, I leave my apartment a lot less than I was even before, um, well, even after the initial COVID-19 outbreak. But yeah, knowing that there are more people walking around without face masks, I leave my apartment even less than I did initially. Um, that being said, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, June was definitely um, an easier month. June was a more uplifting month, was a happier month. July has been a mixed bag. There have been a, a few sections of July that have been very challenging, but I am very excited and very much looking forward to um, what's going to be happening the rest of July, um, especially returning to Notions and Potions in beautiful Beacon, New York, and of course uh, preparing for uh, hashtag Philadelphia Vacation 2022. But that's, that's not here or now, that's not the last three months. Um, so I really, and, and what's interesting, and I'm remembering something that Amy, um, Amy is the living goddess who founded Moon Serpent and Bone, and she is the owner of Otherworldly Waxes. And she was talking to somebody about um, the fourth annual Summer Solstice Festival, which was this past June. And she said that every festival, every event is a learning experience. And I love that she said that, and I found that very insightful, and I found that to be something to always take with me. So I look, now I'm, I'm beginning to look at every experience I have as a learning experience. And I must admit, in spite of being 52 years of age, I did not have that mindset. Now, I have that mindset now. When I look at um, now, when I look at um, any thing that I do professionally, whether it is um, offering readings at notions and potions in person as well as virtually, whether it is offering goddess energy healing treatments at notions and potions in person as well as virtually, whether it's uh, making myself available or considering 
uh, being available and present at a Moon Serpent and Bone event or any other type of public venue, um, I look at the end of it as a learning experience. And I usually take one or two days after that period where it's like, okay, what am I going to learn? What did I learn from this? So with regards to um, the, you know, with regards to notions and potions, I'm going to be back there for in-person and phone and video sessions from Friday, July 29th through Sunday, July 31st, 2022. And after that, I'll be like, okay, what did I learn from this? What did I learn from being here these three days? What did I learn that I can no longer do? Or what did I learn that I had learned previously, put into practice, and has served me well? Same thing with um, the, the most recent Moon, Serpent, and Bone event that I did, which was on Saturday, July 9th, 2022, from 5 to 10 p.m., and it was the Buck Moon, Buck Moon Full Moon Magical Market. So what did I learn from that event? What did I not do that I needed to do? What did I do that I no longer need to do? Or rather, what did I do to prepare for that Moon, Serpent, and Bone market that did not serve me well and to remember not to do going forward? Um, so, so I really love that Amy said that everything is a learning experience. So I'm remembering that. And I'm even beginning to apply that with everything that I do in the other areas of my life. You know, even something as simple as a doctor's appointment, it's like, okay, what did I need to do beforehand? What do I need to remember to do beforehand? What do I need to remember to bring with me? Although, with doctors and appointments and medical procedures, that's kind of automatic for me. But I still like to assume nothing, one of my personal favorite expressions, and be like, okay, this is what we're gonna. This is what I'm gonna remember to do. This is gonna, what, what I'm gonna remember to have with me. Same thing with throughout my day. It's like, okay, what can I learn from yesterday that I need to put into practice today and going forward into tomorrow. So it's it. So that that really priceless piece of wisdom has begun to serve me really well since um, that since that was the fourth annual summer solstice festival so that was on Friday June 17th 2022 and since then it's it's a constant reminder in my mind like okay what did I learn from this experience what did I learn from this interaction what did I learn from this person, what did I learn from this situation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I am very much looking forward to the rest of July. I am looking forward to August. I am very much looking forward to September. And of course, I am also looking forward to the rest of 2022. And I am especially looking forward to January 2023, especially the last Sunday of January 2023. But I digress because I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So, of course, a huge thank you to all of you in YouTube land for honoring who I am and what I do, and for honoring Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos and everything he does as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes, for all the comments, for all the shares on my YouTube of my YouTube videos, whether it's on social media platforms that I no longer use, such as Facebook, or social media platforms that I have never used, such as uh, Reddit. Actually, a few. I, I, I was thinking if there are any others that I've never used, and and um, it's been a while since I've looked at the share buttons on um, on uh, YouTube. So um, I'm, I think there's at least one other share that I've never used before, but I don't remember what it is offhand. And of course, thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And of course, an extra big and an extra beautiful and an extra bountiful thank you to those of you who have scheduled your sessions and to those of you who bought me a coffee. I wish all of you a beautiful night, a wonderful week, a wonder-filled weekend, and stay tuned for the next video.